great to be back, and it's an honor and a privilege to be representing Swing Powers. And we really appreciate everybody turning out and, and having a great day and supporting the work that we do uh, in Durham. Um, as, as most of you know, we were here a couple of years ago. We work with a 1,000 boys and girls in Durham every year who face adversity, and we are training future leaders to go back into the schools and impact the community. Um, I don't want to take any more of your time right now because I have the distinct privilege of introducing you to one of our Swing Pals volunteer coaches and Cisco employees. And he's going to share a story with you, a very short story, that both has the potential to help you play to your potential and make lots of birdies out there today, and certainly reflects the methodology that we use in Swing Pals to help our youth perform to their potential. So without further ado, thank you for being here, David Powers. Hello. Um, I'd like to uh, tell you that I'm a volunteer coach at Swing Pals, but I don't coach golf. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was out on the court coaching uh, two eighth grade girls, uh, and we had the opportunity to play a hole that's 155 yards over water, which I think is kind of similar to the 17th hole that we're going to play out here today. Um, so as we were walking up to this hole, uh, the students uh, said, oh, that hole is hard. And another student said, do we really have to uh, hit it? Do we really have to hit the ball over the water? So at Swing Pals, we call those limiting thoughts. And when we get a limiting thought, we try to say no to it. And um, so as we got up to the tee, we talked about how um, you know, Doug Hodges has thousands of golf balls in his garage, so if anyone, if they hit it in the water, uh, you know, he'll give them some more. And uh, also that no one really is going to make fun of them or, or ridicule them out of the course. So as a coach, I'll hit the shot first, and then uh, they hit the shot. So you're probably wondering whether they hit it over the water, and you're probably wondering if they hit a hole in one or knocked it on the green. Well, the point is, it really didn't matter because uh, at Swing Pals, we uh, like to focus on uh, that um, the, that we're really looking for the process of improvement and not necessarily the result. And also, we're out there teaching the kids not to be afraid to fail. So, um, so what? actually happened was they hit it over the water successfully and it was a huge success and we took a moment to associate it with that feeling and have them uh, be able to call it back up in the future if they need to. So what's interesting about this story is that the next week I had the opportunity to play with one of those girls again and uh, she was begging me to go play the hole where she had to hit it over the water. So you know at Cisco as an innovation company uh, these ideas about not being afraid to make mistakes and also uh, to have a growth-based mindset where your um, your uh, you're having uh, you look at success or failure as as learning and developing as opposed to a black and white white result are very important to our company. So thank you. All right, competitors.